Today's topic is jaundice. Jaundice is a condition in which a person's skin and the whites of the eyes are discolored yellow due to an increased level of bile pigments in the blood resulting from liver disease. Jaundice is sometimes called icterus, from a Greek word for the condition. When red blood cells break down naturally in a 120 day cycle, bilirubin is produced as a waste byproduct. Types There are three main types of jaundice. Hepatocellular jaundice occurs as a result of liver disease or injury. Hemolytic jaundice occurs as a result of hemolysis or an accelerated breakdown of red blood cells leading to an increase in production of bilirubin. Obstructive jaundice occurs as a result of an obstruction in the bile duct. This prevents bilirubin from leaving the liver. Causes of jaundice when red blood cells break down naturally in a 120 day cycle, bilirubin is produced as a waste byproduct. The liver filters waste out from the blood. When bilirubin reaches the liver, other chemicals attach to it. A substance called conjugated bilirubin results. The liver produces bile, a digestive juice. Conjugated bilirubin enters the bile, then it leaves the body. It is this type of bilirubin that gives feces its brown color. If there is too much bilirubin, it can leak into the surrounding tissues. This is known as hyperbilirubinemia, and it causes the yellow color in the skin and eyes. Signs and Symptoms Jaundice is a sign of an underlying disease process. Common signs and symptoms seen in individuals with jaundice include yellow discoloration of the skin, mucous membranes, and the whites of the eyes, light colored stools, dark colored urine and itching of the skin. The underlying disease process may result in additional signs and symptoms. These may include nausea and vomiting, abdominal pain, fever, weakness, loss of appetite, headache, confusion, swelling of the legs and abdomen. Diagnosis Doctors will most likely use the history of the patient and a physical exam to diagnose jaundice and confirm bilirubin levels. They will pay close attention to the abdomen, feel for tumors, and check the firmness of the liver. A firm liver indicates cirrhosis or scarring of the liver. A rock-hard liver suggests cancer. Several tests can confirm jaundice. The first is a liver function test to find out whether or not the liver is functioning properly. If a doctor cannot find the cause, a doctor may request blood tests to check bilirubin levels and the composition of the blood. These include bilirubin tests, a high level of unconjugated bilirubin compared to levels of conjugated bilirubin suggests hemolytic jaundice, full blood count FBC or complete blood count CBC. This measures levels of red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets hepatitis A, B, and C tests. This tests for a range of liver infections. The doctor will examine the structure of the liver if they suspect an obstruction. In these cases, they will use imaging tests, including MRI, CT, and ultrasound scans. They may also carry out an endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatography, ERCP. This is a procedure combining endoscopy and x-ray imaging. A liver biopsy can check for inflammation, cirrhosis, cancer, and fatty liver. This test involves inserting a needle into the liver to obtain a tissue sample. The sample is then examined under a microscope. Treatment. Treatment will depend on the underlying cause. Jaundice treatment targets the cause rather than the jaundice symptoms. The following treatments are used. Anemia-induced jaundice may be treated by boosting the amount of iron in the blood by either taking iron supplements or eating more iron-rich foods. Hepatitis-induced jaundice requires antiviral or steroid medications. Doctors can treat obstruction-induced jaundice by surgically removing the obstruction. If the jaundice has been caused by use of a medication, treatment for this involves changing to an alternative medication. Thank you for watching the video. Please do not forget to like and share the video and hit the subscribe button to always stay on top of our new videos.